Okay, following up on the last video I made where I gave you an intro to what depreciation was from an accounting standpoint, I wanted to take the next step, show you how to calculate it, and then also how to make the journal entry to account for it. So here we go, we have our bicycle ice pop delivery mobile, <laughs> for lack of a, a more concise term, and we paid $2,000 for it. We're gonna use it for four years in our company, and we're gonna to try to spread that $2,000 out over the four years or 48 months that we're going to be using that particular property. So to be able to calculate depreciation, we need three things. We need to know what we paid, the cost, we need to know how long we're going to use it, the useful life of the property, 48 months, and we need to know what it's going to be worth when we're done using it. In practice, it's usually nothing. Usually the salvage value or what it's worth at the end is going to be nothing. And a lot of your accounting problems, they will make you deal with a salvage value where it's going to be worth something at the end, and we have to handle that in our calculations. So there's my three pieces of information. The life and the salvage value are estimates. We're guessing. The cost isn't an estimate. We know what we paid. So if we know those three things, really after that, all we need is a method of depreciating. The method that we're learning right now is called straight line. And it's really simple to put into play. All we're going to do is take what we paid minus our salvage value, which is zero, and then divide that by the life of the equipment or the property. So I've got 48 down here for months. In your calculations, if we're doing it by a year, it could be four for four years. It could be five years or however long we plan on using the property. We're wanting a per month calculation. So I'm simply going to take 2000 and then divide that by 48. And that will give me the amount that I will depreciate for that property every month. So just grab my calculator real quick. 2000 divided by 48. I get 40, I just rounded up, I 42 bucks a month. Just to make it easy. So every month that I use that property, I'm going to make a journal entry to depreciate that property to the tune of $42 a month. And that's going to be an expense, and that expense is going to match up with my revenue that that property generated for any given month that I used it. So let me show you from an accounting standpoint how this is going to work now that I've got my number of 42 bucks a month. We'll just kind of start from the point in time where we bought the property. So I'm just going to assume that I bought it on January 1. I'm just going to kind of make a journal entry here at 1-1 and I'm going to debit my equipment account for 2000 We'll assume we paid cash for it for 2000 So I'm going to come up to my equipment account in my ledger and put 2000 on the debit side. It's going to go in exactly as I journalized it. So that 2000 is going to stay in the equipment ledger until I get rid of that property. Okay? If I never get rid of it, it's going to stay right there on the debit side of the equipment ledger. And so that's when you're probably thinking, well, I'm using up the property, it's getting older. Does that matter? And it, it really doesn't. Um, as you get into second year, maybe uh, later on in your accounting career, you're learning about asset impairment, where if the asset drops in value, we have to do some different uh, things from an accounting standpoint. But for now, all we're really concerned about is taking that $2,000 and spreading it over the life of that asset. So to do that, at the end of every month, for the next 48 months, we're going to make a journal entry. And that journal entry is going to look like this. We have a new account called depreciation expense. It's an expense account, but we're not really writing a check to anybody. It's not like we're spending money. All we're doing is taking that $2,000 that we've already spent and spreading it out over the life of the property. We're going to spread it out $42 a month for 48 months. So the offset to that expense account is a new account called accumulated depreciation.
accumulated simply means built up. Um, and the weird thing about this account is it's actually on the asset side of things. But it has normally a credit balance. And it goes up on the credit side, even though it's under the asset side of our accounting equation. So that sounds kind of weird, but let me tell you the way I like to think of it. I like to think of this account, this accumulated depreciation account, as like the ex-wife or the ex-husband of accounts. Because all it does, the only existence it has in life is to bring down something else. So it's like the ex-spouse account. Accumulated depreciation is just in existence to bring down equipment. That's all it's there to do, is just to bring down equipment and make it feel bad about itself, I guess. Um, and we call this a contra asset account. Not like the old video game, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, and you get like 30 extra men in Nintendo. That's not the kind of contra we're talking about. Contra, in this case, just means opposite. It works the opposite way of the other asset accounts. So essentially what's happening is after one month, if we net these two together, you'll see the book value or the accounting value of that bicycle is 2,000 minus 42. And we'll make that entry right here 48 times. One time every month for the next 48 months. And at the end of 48 months of making that in that accumulated depreciation account, we would have 2,000 bucks after 48 months. At that point, that equipment is fully depreciated. So it would have a book value of nothing or zero. So we wouldn't take it off of the books at that point unless we actually got rid of it. But we just kind of let it wash itself out on the accounting records from an accounting standpoint. So that's the idea behind depreciation. The entries that you need to know when we buy the equipment and then when we depreciate it. We hit the expense account that lowers our net income for the month. And then we credit this new contra asset, accumulated depreciation. And again, its only purpose is to offset equipment or to bring down equipment. So that's the idea behind making a depreciation journal entry. It's one of the most common adjusting entries that you'll make. If you have any questions on how to make that happen in your homework, please let me know and we'll walk you through it.